And joining us now on the broadcast is advocate Manali Singhal. Now she represented the petitioner Shreya Singhal in this case. Manali, how did you see the battle for free speech since the government still has several powers? Section 66A has been struck down, but several powers still remain with the government to arrest. See, this is, I think, a great victory for a free speech, uh, especially on the internet. And uh, of course, if uh, the government comes up with something, we are all ready to take the government on if there is something that needs to be done. But so far, I think it's a very balanced uh, judgment and uh, it's a very significant uh, judgment for personal liberty and free speech in our country. Okay. Now the government claims, and especially you just heard Ravi Shankar Prasad just a short while back, he said they are not against free speech. How did this establishment argue the petition? How was this different from the previous establishment? Well, the government was trying to underplay and was trying to uh, uh, persuade the court to uh, to agree to either uh, reading down the section or to giving an uh, accepting an assurance of the government that they will not make uh, arrests like that were being done earlier and uh, that people will not be uh, simply arrested under 66A for political cr uh, criticism, etc. But as you can see, uh, uh, even though the judgment was reserved, even though a rule was issued in 2011, there were a series of arrests that kept uh, 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 happening in the country, uh, which was a big uh, problem. And the court has rightly held that, you know, governments come and governments go and there is no guarantee that an assurance given by one government will, uh, uh, will be followed by another government. True, government comes and uh, come and go, but in this case, uh, you have a union minister who, who talks about self-restraint and self-regulation. As far as your experience goes, ever since those two young girls uh, were jailed in Mumbai, arrested for just sharing a Facebook post on Bal Thakre, what has your journey been like and is there any clarification that you now seek? Actually, I must confess, it's not me, it's the petitioner who must be given all the credit for this. I'm simply, uh, uh, I mean, I, uh, I'm, I'm very happy that she took up this cause and, and she decided to fight it and, uh, and file a petition. And of course, she had my unstinted support in that. Uh, and I'm, I'm very proud and I'm very happy that we've, uh, our stand has been vindicated and that the, uh, the court has accepted our petition in its entirety.